The traditional process for setting up group orders and allocating trades is extremely manual, time-consuming and error-prone. This inefficiency slows down your trading and can result in missed market opportunities. The Interactive Broker's Allocation Order Tool transforms and streamlines the creation, execution and allocation of group orders. Gone are the hours of setting up an order only to find an error, or even worse, that the market opportunity has passed. Now you can develop and deploy investment strategies in minutes to help capture opportunities in volatile markets. The allocation order tool may be accessed with a right click on an order line in either TWS Classic or Mosaic or from the order entry panel using the allocation drop down menu. Once the allocation has been defined and applied, you must submit the order from your starting point. In this example, I want to create a new position across all five sub-accounts in which I will buy 10,000 shares, allocating across those accounts according to available equity. That means accounts with more available equity will receive more shares. Using this basic example to deal with straightforward allocation across all accounts will help you understand the interface before we explain how the filters work. In the Mosaic Order Entry panel, determine the ticker symbol you want to invest in, and if you wish, select Buy or Sell. This can be changed within the Allocation tool, although you cannot amend the selected ticker symbol. Next, I will locate the Allocation Order tool from the Allocation drop-down menu and click the Open button. The Allocation Order tool displays filters, allocation method and accounts. We'll get into these in more detail later. To the upper left, you can see the Buy and Sell buttons and the underlying symbol. If you entered a number of shares on the Order Entry panel earlier, it will display here but I'm going to add that from the allocation area shortly. To the upper right is the current price for the underlying along with change on the day. In the accounts area at the bottom of the allocation tool, you can see all the sub accounts associated with this account. And since none of the accounts yet owns a position in the symbol I'm creating a buy order for, only cash balance and buying power values can be displayed. I will return to the filters on the left of the page in a later example. From the allocation selection on the right of the tool, I must select one method, and in this case, I will select the third row and click on the radio button. Notice that the first drop down on this row offers users the choice between a quantity of shares or a cash quantity. I will select quantity and enter 10,000 in the input field. The adjoining field allows me to determine allocation according to two methods, proportional or equal. If I select equal, the final field will disappear. But if I select proportional, the final drop-down menu offers the choices according to position, cash balance or buying power. My selection is to buy 10,000 shares proportionally for each account, subject to available buying power. Next, click Apply. This will cause the account section to update to show the total quantity and number of shares to be purchased on behalf of each account, its cash quantity at the current market price, the resultant position and the post-trade cash balance. You may use the cancel button to start over or if happy with the allocation, click set allocation. This will close the tool. Notice now that the Allocation drop-down menu in the Order Entry panel displays the word Custom, indicating that you have successfully created an allocation. Remember that you started in the Order Entry panel and used the Allocation Order tool to determine whose account would be impacted by your allocation, and that by closing the tool, you are back to where you started and ready to execute the order. Determine your order type and submit the order for execution. From the Portfolio tab, you can see that some clients have a position in symbol IWD. Let's return to the Allocation Order tool and look at the system of filters. 
In this case, three of five accounts hold a position in IWD and two have no shares. Advisors can quickly create an allocation to buy, sell, increase or decrease positions only for these accounts that hold an existing position by checking this first box, only include accounts with position, and then clicking on Apply. You will now see that the two accounts with zero positions are excluded from the allocation and whose checkboxes are now empty to the left of the account. Each of the filters use the same operators of greater than, less than, or in the range of. In this example, each subaccount has a different number of shares. An advisor may wish to increase the position in this holding by a percentage, cash amount, or quantity, but only for clients holding less than, let's say, 400 shares each. Set the position selector to is less than and enter 400 in the quantity input field. If I click Apply below, you will see that the checkbox to the left of the account holding more than 400 shares has automatically been deselected and will be excluded from any pending reallocation. The other filters enable the advisor to identify precisely which accounts would be included in the allocation going forward. For example, if the advisor wanted to always maintain a specific amount of cash in each client's account, using the cash balance filter would enable a setting to be entered. Earlier, we used the third row from the allocation selections to initiate a position. In this example, I will use the first row and enter 5% to increase the holding in this symbol for accounts that meet my criteria. Any changes made to either the left or right components of the order allocation tool require users to click the respective Apply button beneath. Once those changes have been applied, can the user click the Set Allocation button to close the tool and return to the Order Entry panel. The Order Allocation tool may also be accessed from TWS Classic. From any data entry line, use the right-click button on your mouse to locate and select the tool. Once you've created the desired profile and click the Set Allocations button, the order line expands to display the order, which can be further tailored to consider order type and any desired limits. For more information about how to use the Allocation Order tool, see the TWS User Guide on the website under the Support, Institutions and User Guides and Documentation section.